Cinderella run in the NCAA tournament isn't over yet. Last night, the team scored another upset victory, beating the Purdue Boilermakers in the Sweet 16. They now advance to the Elite Eight for the first time ever. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from the St. Peter's campus in Jersey City. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Cindy. The Peacocks not only won, they also accomplished something never done before in history, becoming the first 15th seed to advance to the Elite Eight. From Jersey City all the way to Philadelphia, watch parties were electric. It's called a Cinderella story because it's like they're living in a fairy tale. The most improbable team pulled off another impossible win. We got something to prove, man. Jersey City, New Jersey, we got good basketball players. We got players from Jersey City, New Jersey, New York. We're not scared of nobody. We go to the final four and we might win the championship. All tournament long, the St. Peter's Peacocks have turned doubt into fuel, beating Kentucky, Murray State, and now Purdue. The student section was on their feet the entire game at the Wells Fargo Arena. Even when the Peacocks were trailing, they never lost hope. That just to prove to you that no matter what you do during the regular season, when it comes to the end of the season and making the playoffs, you can do anything you wish for. The Peacocks not only booked a date to their first ever Elite Eight, they've reset the standard for upset runs. Over eight decades and thousands of NCAA tournament games, no 15 seed has ever advanced this far. But the students, staff, and alumni will tell you they've always believed. Friday night, they packed into the Run Baby Run Arena and local pubs. Where we come from, that's humble beginnings right there. So when we make it here, man, the whole world going to know our name. On the biggest stage, the smallest school showing their true colors in full bloom. And they will have the chance to make even more magic very soon. Their Elite Eight matchup is against North Carolina, and that is happening tomorrow night at 5 p.m. right here on CBS2. And Cindy, I'm no sports reporter, but my photographers have been feeding me stats all morning. They told me that North Carolina lost to both Purdue and Kentucky in the regular season, and since both of those teams have now lost to the Peacocks, that's got to mean something, right? At least I hope so. I was going to say, Jersey City, Christina. I was just going to say, ahead, Cindy, sorry. I know everyone is just so excited, even people who aren't into basketball, like myself. Now, I, I have someone to root for. <laughs> what kind of reaction have you been getting from cars and people going by your live shot all morning? Oh, it's crazy, Cindy. As soon as they saw us set the camera and the lights up this morning, nonstop honking. I think I said before, there was, I don't know if he was the official mascot, there was a guy just walking down the street with a, with a peacock outfit. People have been shouting, go peacocks. It's just a lot of energy this morning, and it's so nice to see. All right. It's so fun, and you're doing such a good job. Thank you, Christina. And some New York City love for the Jersey City squad. The Peacocks were the toast of the town on these digital billboards in Times Square yesterday. The university tweeted out a picture writing, if you can make it here, you'll make it anywhere. We'd love to see your Peacock pride. Take a look at the QR code on your screen. All you have to do is scan it, post your pictures, and we just might use them on air. And if you're not able to scan the code, don't worry. Just go to our social media. Media pages. The hashtag is CBS New York. As Christina mentioned, the Peacocks now head to the Elite Eight. They'll be facing off against the North Carolina Tar Heels. The only place to watch the game is right here on CBS 2 tomorrow at 5 p.m.